Jamal Bowman, thanks so much for being on New York Now this week. We appreciate it. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. So we had the DNC this week over in Wisconsin. We heard from a lot of Democrats from a lot of different parts of the party. I think it's fair to say that you represent a part of the party that's more progressive than others. And I'm wondering how you feel about the message that Democrats are trying to send to voters in this year's elections. You know, I think the voters are the ones sending the message. I mean, when you look at victories like mine over Elliot Engel, who's been in office for 31 years, uh, victories like Cory Bush uh, out there in Missouri, victories like Mondaire Jones. I think the voters are sending the message that we need to become a more progressive party and we need to meet the needs of the working class and the working poor in our country. And structural racism and inequality at this level is completely unacceptable. And it seems that Joe Biden and others are responding to that. I think the party has a healthy tension right now, and I think it's only going to get stronger and move us in the direction we need to go. You know, speaking of voters, you made a huge splash in June when you beat Elliot Engel in the primary. I'm wondering why you chose to run this year in a district that's been represented by a Democrat for decades. What was your motivation? You know, I've worked in public education for 20 years, uh, worked in Title I schools my entire career. These are schools that are underfunded and schools in under-resourced communities. And I was tired of our children being hurt and dying in the streets of the Bronx. And I just didn't see the leadership, and not just me, the people in the district. Before we even decided to run, we asked people about their representation, and they told us time and time again that it was time for a change, which is why we decided to get into this race. I want to ask you about education, because as you noted, you have a deep background in education. You founded a middle school. Um, you were the principal of that middle school, so you know the ins and outs of education. In New York State, even though we spend more than any other state on students per capita, we still mm -hmm. have this huge gap between low-income schools, high-income schools, just the quality of education all over the state. I imagine as somebody who has been, uh, pardon the term, but in the trenches in, in a school environment, you'd have some thoughts on how we could close that gap. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we spend a lot, but believe it or not, we need to spend more, uh, particularly in, in, in low-income communities, because we still fund school schools based on uh, local property taxes and not based on student needs. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is we need to focus on early childhood education. We need to make sure our children and families grow up in a nurturing environment from birth to age eight, uh, so that when they enter kindergarten at age th at age five, they are more prepared uh, to thrive within the school system. So that means early childhood education, uh, child care from birth to age three to make sure our kids are growing up in as nurturing environment as possible and ready to enter uh, kindergarten. Lastly, we need to integrate our schools. Our schools have been economically and racially segregated even since Brown first Board of Education, when we were supposed to desegregate the schools. We need to integrate our schools, and we need to focus on project-based learning in alignment with the needs of our current economy and the needs of our democracy. Uh, those are a few things that need to get done. Now, during the pandemic, obviously, it's an opportunity for us to be creative and innovative and think differently about how we approach school. We're pushing for more outdoor learning and experiential learning opportunities to make learning more hands-on for our kids. When kids get to get their hands dirty literally and create and innovate and build, they learn more at an accelerated rate. You know, your election has been compared over the past couple of months to when um, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez defeated Joe Crowley in that primary in her district. And But I have to imagine you have your own priorities, education being one of them. When you presumably enter office in January, what's at the top of your list? What I know that it's a big list, but I, I, what's your target, I guess? Mm. Housing as a human right. In our district, prior to the pandemic, we needed 70,000 affordable homes. We have four public housing uh, units, uh, areas, excuse me, in the Bronx that haven't received a dime from the federal government in over 10 years. Uh, housing is a human right. It is not a commodity. And we need to make sure we house everyone, not just in our district, but in our country. We need a Green New Deal in this moment, which provides a federal jobs guarantee labor jobs uh, that meet the federal minimum wage, 
as well as infrastructure, building new schools and housing and retrofitting them in alignment with the needs of a Green New Deal and growing the care economy, hiring more teachers, more nurses, more caregivers and more early childhood uh, educators. You know, Republicans, when they hear ideas like this, they say, great ideas, but it's going to cost a lot of money that we don't have in the revenue in New York State, in the United States. What do you say to them? Where does the money come from to pay for these things? We generate our own currency in this country, so we can generate the currency to invest in people. Listen, when we needed to bail out large corporations, big banks, the airline industry, and the cruise ship industry, we were able to find the money to do those things, right? So we need to find the money to provide a federal jobs guarantee, to build housing and create it as a human right, and to make sure everyone is employed in the care economy uh, within our country. All right, Jamal Bowman, soon to be representing the 16th Congressional District in New York State. Thanks so much for being on New York Now this week. Thank you so much. A pleasure being here.